Hello everyone, welcome to the Unistellar channel. Thank you for being here. We're extremely happy to make this new video in which we'll present to you our new telescope, the EVScope Equinox. We're very excited here at Unistellar because with the new EVScope Equinox, we're now starting to offer a range of products, each tailored to your needs. And what a great product the EVScope Equinox is. In this video, we'll explain how to set up your EVScope Equinox from scratch and how to make your first light. We want you to feel very comfortable with your Equinox in no time at all. And you'll be able to see the wonders of the night sky in just a few minutes. Ready? Let's go! Before starting, let me remind you that this video concerns the EVScope Equinox only. For those who already have an EV scope, or for those people who've already seen the video, how to set up your EV scope, you probably won't learn much because the two telescopes work almost the same. Still, there are differences, so let's take some time to talk about this new telescope. You know what? Let's just go back to the beginning. Here is the EVScope Equinox in its backpack. The tripod is here, of course. We'll talk about it in a minute. Let's open it up and here it is with its new color. Also, you're gonna find a small box with tools inside that will help you fix the tripod if needed. All right, let's see how the tripod is working. It's so simple that it's only gonna take two minutes. Before installing your EVScope Equinox, be sure to download the Unistellar app first. Go to the App Store or the Play Store and type Unistellar in the search tab. With this app, you can control your EVScope Equinox, observe thousands of objects, save images, and share it. So let's take the tripod and open the legs out to their maximum. You put the tripod on the ground and the first thing you wanna do is check the bubble level. It's right here. You have to make sure that the bubble is right in the middle of the circle. This is a tiny detail, but it's very important if you wanna make sure that your EVScope Equinox can find and align all the sky objects. All right, now let's untighten the two screws here and here so we can put the EVScope Equinox in the tripod. When it's done, take your EVScope Equinox by the base like that and put it in. Then tighten up the screws so it's well fixed and it doesn't fall. Take off the top cover and put it somewhere where you won't lose it, especially when it's dark. All right, now that the EVScope Equinox is installed and ready to go, we can turn it on by pressing the front button for two seconds. First, you'll see a purple light for about five seconds, meaning that it's starting. And then it'll turn red to say it's ready. From this moment, your EVScope Equinox is creating its own Wi-Fi network. All you have to do is connect your smartphone to it. On your smartphone, go to the Wi-Fi settings and look for the EVScope Wi-Fi network. You should be able to see a network named EVScope, followed by six random characters. And don't worry about the no internet connection message. It's totally normal. The EVScope Equinox Wi-Fi network is just not an internet connection. It means that when your smartphone is connected to the EVScope Equinox, it can't go on the internet via Wi-Fi. However, you can still use 3G or 4G. Now that your EVScope is connected with your smartphone, we can launch the application. So what does it look like? Well, let's do a quick walkthrough together. The first thing you wanna look for are the five tabs on the bottom of the screen. EVScope, Explore, Science, Gallery, and User. We'll take two minutes to talk about some of them, but not all of them, and you'll see why. The first tab, EVScope, is probably the one where you'll stay most of the time. Here, you can pilot your EVScope Equinox, see the objects, activate the sky tracking, and the enhanced vision. Modify your images, save them, and share them. We're not gonna cover every icon in this video. Let's talk about the ones that will allow you to make your first light. With the in-app joystick, lower your EVScope Equinox at around 45 degrees, so you can see stars on your smartphone screen. As soon as you see stars, you'll probably need to check the focus by turning the focusing wheel located at the bottom of your EVScope Equinox. The goal is to see stars as sharp as possible. They should look like tiny dots. If they don't, you will need to align the visual cue with the top screw, not the left one, the top one. On our channel, you'll find very interesting tutorial videos. And there is one about focus, which is called how to use the Badenoff mask. 
Be sure to watch it. Once the stars are quite sharp on your smartphone, you can touch this icon, the one that looks like a target. This is called the Autonomous Field Detection or AFD. And what this does is analyze the stars and compare it to its database. It's so powerful that it will recognize the stars in 15 seconds. And if it doesn't work the first time, use the joystick to move the EV scope to another part of the sky and try again. When it's done, you'll see sky tracking on. This is a crucial step. All right, let's get down to business. Now that the EV Scope Equinox knows where it is, you're gonna be able to find really cool objects in the sky. Let's go to the Explore tab. Here, you can access thousands of night sky objects. The app shows you only what's available right now. That's why the list never really looks the same. We can't spend too much time explaining everything about the Explore tab right now. If you wanna know everything about it, go check our video, how to find all all the targets you're looking for. You'll know everything there is to know about the Explore tab. All right, let's pick the first objects in the first section, recommended by Unistellar. As soon as you click on it, a new window will appear with great information and especially the go to button. As soon as you hit this button, the EV Scope Equinox will go to the object. It's as easy as that. All right, let's go back to the first tab, EV Scope. When you observe an object with the EV Scope Equinox, you have two ways to see it, two different modes. The first one is live view mode. This is the one you have by default. It allows you to watch the object live. This is a mode that you can use for very bright objects like the moon and planet. As you may know, your EV Scope Equinox is a game changer when it comes to watch deep sky objects. These objects are very far away, thus very faint. But the EV Scope Equinox will use its power to show you the invisible by activating the enhanced vision. Click on the icon that looks like an eye looking at a star. Wait a few seconds and watch the object appearing in colors. For better results, we advise you to wait two or three minutes. It will stack images and add more details, contrasts, and colors. You can wait even longer if you like. One quick word about the icons on the top right, and let's start with the last one. This is where you'll be able to adjust some settings. Most of the time, the auto mode will do the job, but you can also modify some settings to get even better results. If you wanna know about it, check out our video, how to optimize your observation with the right settings. When you see an image that you really like, you can save it by clicking on this button here at the top right. You'll have access to your gallery by clicking on the gallery icon at the bottom. Bottom. And for each image that you click on, you'll have the option to share it with this icon here. Now let's talk about one of the coolest things that you can do with your new EV Scope Equinox. Contribute to space science discoveries. Let's open the third tab, science. Here you'll have access to different astronomical events like asteroid occultations, exoplanet transits, planetary defense, yes, you will defend our planet, and comet activity. In a nutshell, you can participate to astronomical events and become a citizen astronomer. We already have members of the Unistellar Network who have helped get a better understanding of an asteroid to be visited by a NASA probe and identified planets near distant stars. We'll cover this topic in an upcoming tutorial, so stay tuned for more information. In the meantime, should you wish to join the Unistellar network of Unistellar citizen astronomers with your EVScope Equinox, please contact us at citizenscience at unicelloptics.com. Thanks to the EV Scope Equinox, you can record precious information and data about asteroids, comets, and even exoplanets. Send it to the SETI Institute, our citizen science partner, by uploading the data in the user tab and participate to new discoveries. Can you imagine that thanks to two EV Scope users in the US, we discovered that an asteroid was in fact 20% bigger than we thought it was. Now let's imagine if every user would participate to these events. Okay, let's end this video with the last step. Once you've finished your observations, you have the option to park your EV scope. And to do that, nothing's easier. Let's go to the user icon and press Park My EV Scope button. Once you press this, your EV scope will go back to its original vertical position. And don't forget to replace the top cover when you're done.
Okay, now we're done, you know how to use your EV scope Equinox. Keep in mind that this video is just an introduction. Be sure to watch all the other tutorial videos on our channel. And if you have a little more time, check out our live streams where we talk with great and passionate users who explain how they use their EV scopes. These videos last about an hour, but you'll learn a great amount of very interesting information. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. That way you'll be notified when new videos arrive. Thank you very much from Unistella. See you next time.